I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve because this keeps me alive. Without it, I can go back into heart failure. If I'm not on this medication, I die. My condition is not curable. We just have to manage it the best we can. It's nice to detach for a couple hours. It's like Cinderella's slipper. I only get like a couple hours before I turn back into a pumpkin. I'm gonna change out my medication. I change out my cartridge, my tubing, and my pump every three days. This is where all of my stuff lives, day-to-day -day stuff. I'm Jerry. I was diagnosed with idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension and congestive heart failure. Pulmonary arterial hypertension means that the artery that goes from the lungs to the heart is really clotted. The right side of the heart gets enlarged because it's working too hard and then it starts to fail. So I am technically in right heart failure. Now it's pretty secure. I have secured it. There's nothing lifting. I get my medication out. This is still a pretty full bottle. I clean it before I insert anything into it. I twist this off. This is what goes in my pump. And that's loading while I am opening my tubing. This is what it looks like before it goes in my arm. There's a needle right there. So then I hook it up like this, turn it, lock it in, and then I hit done. It's kind of crazy that I am like reliant on something that is on the exterior of my body. You rely on your organs, but like my medication keeps me alive. Having my heart essentially on the outside of my body gives me a lot of anxiety. My condition is not curable. There's no explanation for it. We just have to manage it the best we can. I've always been really healthy. I would say that I was pretty average up until I was diagnosed. When I was diagnosed, they told me if I started medication immediately, then I could probably get three to five years to live. So I'm standing when he's telling me this and he's like, you shouldn't even be able to stand with how severe your heart is. You need to start treatment immediately or you're gonna die. I get pretty choked up thinking about this, finding out about my wife's condition that she was diagnosed with. I just didn't wanna believe it. And I couldn't be there for her because we have uh, the two boys at home. Just felt completely helpless. From the day I checked myself into the ER to the day I was hooked up to my pump, we're talking three weeks. Look up, close your eyes. Close your eyes, please. It was really hard to adjust, especially because the line was coming out of my chest and the boys aren't old enough at this point to understand anything. So I was so nervous about them pulling it out. I was scared it was gonna fall out. I had never been sick and now I'm like super sick. I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve because this keeps me alive. Without it, after four hours, I can go back into heart failure. I'm on medication 24 hours, seven days a week. I started sharing on social media because when I was diagnosed, I was looking for somebody like me and I couldn't find a lot of them. So I wanted to be that person for other people. When I was diagnosed, I was told that if I didn't start treatment immediately, I was gonna die. After 10 months on the pump and being in the hospital six times because of infection, I started with this subcutaneous pump. It's been working really well. I also started a clinical trial and it's been really exciting so far. I wanted to be the person that showed them they could still go out and live their own lives and be normal people, even with a condition as serious as the one I'm dealing with. I'm going to take my pump off and I'm going to detach for a little bit. The benefit of doing this really is just because I hate being attached to a pump. I like not having to wear a pump all the time. I like the freedom that I feel. I feel normal again. It's like Cinderella's slipper. I only get like a couple hours before I turn back into a pumpkin. Now it's waterproof. I'm pump free, ready to go. I feel like I have come such a long way from that day in the hospital. I would have never thought that I was going to put my toes back in the sand after being diagnosed and being told that I could die. We love the beach and I'm glad that we made it back here. I feel like it made me a lot stronger and I feel like it's really molded and shaped my personality going forward. With the clinical trial I'm on now, the future hope is that it'll be a cure, that it's going to give me a lot of years. We've seen a lot of miracles that have happened in my body. I've survived a lot. My joke is I am a cat with nine lives and I think I'm probably on my sixth life at this point.